I should really do a better job of checking to see if I'm muted before I start the streams. Hello, everybody! I'm back again playing more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Oh boy, oh boy, it's time. Welcome to Lawyer Monday. It is indeed Lawyer Monday. That is the day that is today, and we will be practicing law on Lawyer Monday. How is it going, everybody? In the pre stream chat, how is it going to everybody in the VODs? Hello, VOD heads. How's WarioWare going? Managed to get 122 earlier? Goddamn, not bad, dude. Uh, I have not played it in a minute. I might play more of it tonight, uh, in part because the Final Fantasy XIV servers are down for maintenance. So I don't really know what to do tonight, so I might uh, I might be playing a little bit of that instead while I wait for that to come back up. I, I, I might stream it a little bit. Maybe we finish this trial, and then we switch over to some uh, Mar MarioWare. WarioWare. Maybe. I don't know. We will have to see. But for right now, we have to do this entire trial, and it's going to be a real hard one, I bet. Do you think Phoenix Wright has a chance for Smash? I think he has as good a uh, chance as anyone else, so yeah, maybe. I don't know, it's impossible to say. I don't make the game, I don't keep up with the game. Frankly, I don't really give a shit about the game. All I want is Solaire, that's all I want. If they put in Solaire, I'll be happy. If they put in not Solaire, I will continue to not care about the game because I don't play it and I don't care about it. I think it's dumb and stupid, and if you like it, then 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 you're just you're just like you're just stupid and poor. There it is. There I said it. Uh, who is your favorite murderer so far? Who is my favorite murderer so far? I don't know. That's a difficult question. I like Von Karma. I thought he was pretty interesting. JG Fishy, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Sus among us. It is a sus Ace Attorney actually. Red is suspicious. I am not making unfunny jokes, which I always do. Uh, that is literally the case here. And we're going to be figuring out what the hell is going on. Because I don't really know. It's not very nice, Cade. Well, I'm not a very nice guy. I'm a bad boy. I'm an F boy. And I belong on an island. Shout out to anyone who's watched F Boy Island. Great show. Highly recommend. Season 2 on the way. Get in there and watch it while you can. Thank you, Sergeant Guy, for the 200 bits. Better make some coffee. Go get that coffee. We're going to be gaming for I don't know how long. Probably like the normal amount of time, but I don't really know. Sussy Nobaka, also known as Sussy Custard from Among Us Day. Yes, yes, yes. We all know that it's a Ouija the God Twitch stream national holiday, usually celebrated on the third Monday in August. The purpose of the holiday is to savor that sweet, sweet sussy custard while being suspicious of an ace attorney witness that in all likelihood is the guilty murder culprit. Yes. And also the French guy, Armstrong, or should I say French woman? I don't really, I don't, I don't know, it's hard to say. They're very suspicious. We all know that much. I gotta start taking some drinks so we can start playing the game, guys. Excuse me. Cheers. This is my sussy custard. It's called Room Temperature Sky Vodka. Cheers. Yo, let's go, Hype Train! There it is, Hype Train! Thank you, a series of tubes for the 100 biddies saying choo-choo, kicking off the Hype Train. Well, I guess technically it was Sergeant Guy who kicked it off, but you were the one who tipped it off. So, that is good. Thank you very much. Let's see the primes. Let's see the bits. Let's see all of the uh, numbers. Make, make my numbers go up so I can exist better than I previously could with lower numbers. I need professional help. Thank you for the hundred numbers. Hello, Ouija the God in chat. What's up? Who's ready to get to the bottom of the sussy case and vote out the imposter who is suspicious? Me. Me. That's that's me, and that's what I'm going to do right now, and it's going to be great. Thank you for the hundred bits again. I made a tweet, guys. I'll just be straight up. Just I'm just going to put out the tweet. I'm just putting it out there, and we're going to see what's going on. In the Twitter sphere, I got this Discord community thing that I typed up, and now I posted at everyone on it. There it is. We're about to get gaming. I'm so excited for more lawyer time. I love lawyer time. Let me tell you, it's one of my favorite times. It's almost as good as Lawyer Friday. But Lawyer Mondays, you know, it's close. It's like a close second. It's pretty nice. Cheers, everybody, again. I'm going to take, like, uh, two or three more drinks, and then we're going to hop in there and have a great time. So let's do it. Is 
isn't every day lawyer day? Well, not when I'm practicing. When I'm not when I'm not practicing law. Then no, those days are not lawyer days. Of course, that just that would not make any sense, would it? <laughs> Hi, Caden Chat. Hello, P peasants. How are you? How is it going? Welcome to Lawyer Monday. We will, we will we will be practicing law and be going to trial and having a great time. What did y'all think of Case Four? Uh, I assume you're referring to Case Four of the second game. I liked it a lot. I think it might be my favorite case in the game so far. I'm trying to think if that's true. Is 2-4 the best case of the game that I have played? Probably. Maybe? Uh, eh, I don't know. There's a lot of dumb shit in it, but that can be said for literally all of them, so I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, 2-4 is up there. I like 1-4 a lot. 1-5 is, is great in a lot of ways. I think those are like the top three. I'm not sure how I would order those. Um, except one tier above that, of course, we have 2-3. We have Trilo and the gang uh, trolling me. Uh, Money the monkey, great. I'm liking this case a lot, too. I think this case is pretty funny so far, but it has a chance to piss me off real bad right here when we get into this trial, which I bet it will do. I bet it'll do it pretty easily, too. Okay, cheers again. This is going to be the last drink, and then we're going to hop in and game. Thank you. Thank you, a series of tubes for the 100 bits. Thank you. I was listening to the latter half of yesterday's VOD earlier, and it was impossible to understand what the French guy was saying without reading it. Well, then I'm doing my job right. I'm talking like an actual Frenchie. And I can say that because I have French blood coursing through my veins, unfortunately. Arigato, arigato for the seven months, the tier one, the seven months. Seven months on Lawyer Monday Pog. Thank you very much. That is very Pog. Evil Master Sean also. Thank you for the tier one sub. Gifted a tier one sub to Estazz. Thank you. Cade is going to die today. No, 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 no. People say that all the time. People have been saying this since I was playing Persona 4. Like, months and months and months ago. It's it's fine. Guys, trust me, I am strong. I'm a machine! I am a content machine! And it's never going to fail you. I'm built Ford tough. Let's play the game. Let's do it. <sighs> Trial time. Can I get a recap of what's happening in this case? Uh, I, I can't explain it. It's too long. January 7th, 9.48 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number one. I am going to uh, go over all of the evidence real quick. I, I remember most of the things that happened last night because I did just play it last night. So we're walking into this one with confidence. We're going to solve all of these crimes and, and questions like super easily. It's going to be great. And here's Bird. Man, the maid costume stays on, even when she's in prison, even when she's up on the stand. She hasn't changed out of this thing in a while. Oh, I see. I guess I should have expected this. Nobody saw the other guy, huh? Well, that's a load of baloney. But he was there when I took the coffee over, sir. Scout's honor, Maggie. Oh, it's Dick! Ah! Detective Gumshoe, are you doing all right? How you feeling? As if you need to ask either question, sir. I'm very sad. Obviously. Ah, uh, don't let him get you down, Maggie. And don't forget to eat well, okay? Roger, I'm in prison, so I can't really control that, but whatever. And you! What? You'd better square this case away. Got it, pal? Maggie's innocent, you hear? If you screw this up, then I'll be doing some squaring away myself. Squaring away some paperwork for your arrest. What the fuck did I do? I think he's serious. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, detective, you're on our side for once, right? For once? He's like, oh, when is he not, really? Yup. That's my best friend you're talking about, Maya, and I will not have you besmirch my dick. So you'll be able to help Maggie out, right? Really? Can you, sir? Oh, of course, I've got the situation under control. I'm gonna be the first witness on the stand today, like always. If something I say doesn't mesh up with the facts, make sure you point it out, all right? Can do, that is what I do every single time, and it always works. Okay, we're forming a united front today, pal, you get me? Got it, sir. Let's get in there. I can't tell you how grateful I am, sir. I've always admired you so much, detective. I know I can count on you. Looks like it should all go pretty smoothly today, huh? I do not think that's going to be the case. I can only wish. But then again, we have to fight Godot, who is the smartest man on the planet, apparently. 
It's all that coffee. It's really getting him amped up. His brain's working in overdrive. Court is now in session for the... It should say retrial of Maggie Burr, but yeah, you know what I mean. The defense is ready, Your Honor. This son of a bitch! That's one cup. Count him, chat. That's one. Okay? Hmm. Ah, bitter. Mr. Um... Mr. Right? Yeah, Your Honor? Ah! What's wrong? Nothing. It's just whenever I addressed you in the previous trial, your response was, You's talking to me? It was a little, well, intimidating. No, no, that wasn't me. That was a phony phoenix. No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I see, so our trusty phoenix right is back with us now, is he? How the fuck is that? Why is the case not being thrown out? They had this random imposter that just showed up and started defending. I doubt that dude has a, le a, a license to per per perform legal activities. I, fi I highly doubt it. Our trusty. I just don't think it's the truth. This whole thing is an entire farce. This is fucking Kangaroo Court Incarnate. So, Mr. Godot, your opening statement. Mr. Trite, whether you're a fake or the real deal, we will find out soon enough through this trial. But I can already tell you, I am the real Phoenix Wright. I wasn't questioning whether you are Phoenix Wright or not. I was questioning whether you had studied law or not. Ha 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 yes. Not well. That's what I intend to find out. There's no denying it. Behind that mask is a man who really hates me for some reason or another. Is this gonna be like Von Karma's son or something like that? There's gonna be some weird twist and he's got like some weird grudge against me? I don't know. As everyone is aware, the court has already given its verdict on this case once. Therefore, I won't stand for a relevant testimony during this retrial, nor will I stand for a simple repetition of the evidence presented in the last trial. I'm not planning on repeating anything that phony me said, trust me, even though I don't really know what he said. I would love to get, like, a court record so I could study that and know not what to say, but it's all fine. Now then, Mr. Godot, please summon your first witness. Let's do it. Let's begin cross-examination. Let's start with the formalities, shall we? Name an occupation. Witness, state your name for the court. Huh? Oh, sorry, sir. The name's Police Detective Dick. Mmm, delicious. Other way around, detective. Huh? Oh, sorry. You get the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since yesterday? Yeah, the guy who was on the initial investigation tied up with another case now. I hope Gumshoe's really got everything under control for everyone's sake. I think we already know the answer to that, Maya. He don't. I see, so Detective Gumshoe, would you outline for the court the basic facts of the case? Okay, sir. The victim's name was Glenn Elg. He was a professional programmer. He was on the payroll of Blue Screens Inc., a local company. This is the victim's autopsy report. Yo, give me that autopsy report and make sure it's updated, please and thank you. The court accepts this into evidence. Glenn's autopsy report added to the court record. Is this not something that the fake me went over or no one presented? Seems pretty important. Died of potassium cyanide poisoning. Time of death was between 1.30 and 2.30 p.m. I'm already getting hiccups. This is not good. Um, and here are the floor plans of the restaurant. Okay. Those look like some nice floor plans to me. When the incident took place, the victim was sitting right here. So this place does, at max, sit eight people. It's a very, very small place that nobody comes to. How the hell are they open? I don't get it. The poison coffee was brought over to him by the, um, by the waitress. The waitress being the accused? Yeah. The victim died from poisoning almost immediately after he took a sip of the coffee. God, that's like really strong poison. At the time of the incident, there were two people in that restaurant. This fucking freak show. And this fucking freak show. Got it. Ready. Mm. It still seems to be a very straightforward case to me. Is it though? Trabian floor plans added to the court record. Yeah, you sip away. You're gonna need that coffee. Come, detective. Take up his hammer and nail the defendant's coffin shut with your two hands. Okay, that's a normal thing to say, Mr. Fortune Cookie. Now then, Detective Gumshoe, let's have your testimony. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. The incident. Well, <laughs> I mean, how can I not drink for a cross-examination titled The Incident, you know? That's, it has to, 
we're gonna the the incident rules are kind of loose at this point in the game because it's like a common phrase and it doesn't really count a lot of the time if we're just referring to the same thing over and over again but the incident yeah we're talking yeah we're taking a drink of that one for sure not like in dang and rampa when the incident refers to uh <laughs> other specific things because they always it's i'm just gonna take a drink guys it's okay we're just gonna take the drink it's gonna be great Oh, it's gonna be the biggest, most awful, most tragic drink in human history, too. Yo, what's up, Adriana? Let let any Godot who meets my gaze and I give him a cup and a forehead kiss. Okay, that's great. That's just that's just absolutely great. But that's not something that I would do. Sergeant Guy, think about the 200 bits. Your drinks should be black coffee for Godot trials. Man, you know, I actually don't like coffee that much, I'll be honest. I'm not really a caffeine guy. Uh, like, even sodas and stuff like that, I just, I, I don't really like it. Um, so that would probably fuck me up harder than Sky Vodka room temperature. <laughs> it should be, a uh, potassium cyanide poisoned tea or coffee or something like that for this trial specifically. But just like a little bit, you know. Okay, cheers everybody. It should be a little bit of potassium cyanide poisoning and 17 cups of coffee. And that's the exact lethal dose, you know, dispersed amongst those 17 cups. And if I have to go through all of them, then I die. That would make great stream content. That would be very funny. That'd be very entertaining to watch, I think, for all of us. Not like I would ever drink poison. Anyway, cheers. All right, so when the incident took place, the victim was alone at the table, sir. We understand that guy, Glenn Elg, was listening to the radio at the time. Traces of poison were found in his coffee cup. And what we found was potassium cyanide. That stuff really packs a punch. Apparently, one sip? He took one sip and he keeled over, like, immediately? Is that how that works? I feel like that's not how that works, but I'm no poisoner, so I wouldn't really know. And, uh, it looks like Miss Bird might have had, well, some kind of a motive. What was the motive? I want to know about the motive. I'm going to press you so hard about that motive thing you just talked about. Mm. Drink it. There's some potassium cyanide in that one, too, Buster. Using the dark, aromatic depths of coffee to conceal the poison. Classy lady. Okay, that's a normal thing to say. The facts of this case seem to be ironclad, Mr. Wright. I would ask you to begin your cross-examination, but yeah. Please, no intimidation tricks this time around, is that understood? I already told you that wasn't me! It's not fair. The incident. Let us talk about the incident. So, when the incident took place, the victim was alone and his table served. Tell me about that. Is that really true? Can I stop you for just a minute? Huh? What is it? Did I say something that contradicts the evidence? He's so desperate for that to be true, he's practically crying. Your testimony just now doesn't match the testimony given by Ms. Bird. She claims that there was another man at the victim's table. Yeah, that's what she said, and I... What? What killer wouldn't say that when faced with the... with a homicide conviction? Hey! Sadly, her testimony isn't supported by the owner or the other customer. Isn't that right, Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, it's true. Their two testimonies tie up on that. They both said there was no other guy at the table. Hmm. What should I do? Should I press on this point a little harder or not? Always, always press harder unless you don't want to. In that case, don't. Well, maybe the other witness just missed him. Perhaps their view of the victim's table was obscured in some way? Ha! That argument is as weak as the coffee at Trabian, trite. What? Have you had it? I wouldn't know. I have here in my possession a ticket. A ticket? Looks more like a photo to me. Yes, a one-way ticket to Guiltyville Population the Defendant. What? A... <laughs> This is some shit I would expect Phoenix to say, not Godot. This is not what I expected to come out of Godot's mouth. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is he, maybe that's the imposter of me and when he like takes off the mask, it's gonna be like a cooler version of me, Phoenix Wright. And that's gonna be like opening up the parallel universe theory for Phoenix, I will, we'll, we'll see. In the meantime though, yeah, I'm gonna take a drink for uh, 
every time someone offers me a one-way ticket to Guiltyville Population the Defendant. That's what I'm going to do, okay? Yeah. I no longer find Godot attractive after that line. It's it's not really it's not really the suave cool guy thing I would expect him to say, you know, not not from Godot. Not from like anyone but Phoenix. Like this is a Phoenix right line. Maybe they messed him up. Maybe they jumbled him up all all messy like, I don't know. It makes him even more attractive. I don't know if you say so. All right, what is it? Oh, that's the thing. That's the partition. This is a photograph taken near the entrance to the kitchen. This is the scene as witnessed by the chef moments after the poisoning took place, correct? Oh, that was not good, though, no, whatever. I think the court will agree that with such a clear view of the scene of the crime. Slam! How, Mr. Trite, could anyone have overlooked a second person at the table? Erg! That's an erg moment. It certainly seems to show the victim's table extremely clearly. A photo of the scene taken from near the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> a one-way ticket to Godotville population Adriana. Yeah, have fun there, I guess. We understand that the guy, Glenn Elg... What kind of a name is Glenn Elg? Is that a pun that I'm missing? Is that going over my head? Am I dumb? Was listening to the radio at the time, okay? What was on the radio at that time? He was listening to his radio at the time, you say? It's a palindrome. Oh. Read it backwards? I never, I never, I didn't think to do it, but I will. Glen Elg. Oh, it is. Look at that. Glen Elg. Glen Elg. Glen Elg. Elg Glen. That's great. Now that's just great. So it's the same forwards as it is backwards. I wonder if that is a secret. Maybe that's a key piece of information. Is that an 11037 moment? It could be if it's actually important. I don't know. Yeah, he had a portable radio in his chest pocket. Maggie told us that too, didn't she? Something about how one of them had some sort of earpiece. What should I do? Should I press on this point a little? Yes, Phoenix. Always yes, Phoenix. Unless you shouldn't, then no. And what was it that the victim was listening to on the radio, Detective Dick? Huh? How should I know? Thanks a lot. We're now one step closer to the middle of nowhere. This isn't going very well, is it? Hmm, Detective? Could you perhaps tell us about the poison and how it was used? Tell me about the cyanide poison. Uh, traces of poison were found in his coffee cup. Yes, a one-way ticket to Harlem population, my hemorrhoids. That is unnecessary, guys. That is totally not necessary. So traces of the poison were found in the coffee cup and nowhere else? Not sure I get you, pal. Was the poison a liquid or was it a powder? If I had to put it in layman's terms, I'd say it was a powdery substance. Hmm. So the poison could have been in anything that was on the table. Sugar, salt, pepper. Objection. What? Yeah, you get your second cup, asshole. Ha! Do you put salt and pepper in your coffee, Trite? You don't know what the victim liked. The victim took his coffee black with no sugar. Nah! It seems that the poison could only have been in the coffee. What should I do? Should I press on this point a little harder? Of course! Of course! Are you absolutely certain that the victim even drank any of this coffee? Huh? What do you mean? According to this file, the poison was found in the victim's coffee cup. But what proof is there that the victim ever drank any of it, huh? Oh, hey, you're right! I No, I think that's a bad idea to say these things. It doesn't make that much sense, does it? In case you were wondering, the last objection was for the detective there. Half huh, for me? Oh, hey, you're right, you may be fooling the court, but I'm not falling for it. If you have the time to waste, you have the time to present that piece of evidence. Th that that piece, sir? What is it? Yes, that piece. Huh? Uh, <laughs> what, what piece was it again? What? Ask Chad. I don't know. What are we talking about? This. You son of a bitch! Should I be grateful this coffee's only hot enough to give me first-degree burns? Let's just be thankful that it's not a whip, okay? 
Oh, now I remember. Uh, this is the, uh, the victim's coffee cup. Yes, the victim's cup. Take a good look at the rim. There's clearly a little bit of lipstick on it. Why is there, why is there some lipstick there? Is that what that is? I mean, I don't, when I drink from something, I don't leave a big brown stain like that. I'm just saying. Oh, yes, it's unmistakable. There is clearly a coffee stain on it. Oh, well, maybe if it's coffee, that kind of changes it. Conclusive proof that the victim did drink the poison coffee that was in this cup. Okay, hear me out. Uh, dude Armstrong, he put on the poison lipstick, and then he uh, drank a little bit from the from the coffee cup, and that made the poison from his lipstick go into the coffee, okay? That's my, that's my Hail Mary guess right now. There it is. Yeah, get your get your next cup. The victim gulped down the bitter death that the waitress brought him. Like this! Oh my god, look at him go! For the record, the only prints on the cup were the victims and the defendants. Well, that's not good. Coffee cup added to the court record. The coffee contained potassium cyanide covered in the victims and Maggie's fingerprints. Upon further investigation of this cup, we found a certain chemical substance. Was it potassium cyanide? I think it was, oh wow, what a surprise. It was potassium cyanide. Would you look at that? I need to take a drink right now for him. Uh, I, I got coffeed. I am covered in Godot's hot scalding coffee, which is fortunately only hot enough to give me first degree burns and nothing worse. So it's not that bad. It's okay. So cheers. At least you didn't spit it on me. That would be the worst case scenario. At what point do we give up on the client? Never! You never give up on a client. You always believe in them and you have a smile and you always put your faith in the client, which is the first thing they ta teach you about being a defense attorney. It's that you need to unequivocally believe that your client is innocent or else you will totally never get them off or a lighter sentence or anything like that. That's the, it's just the first, it's the most practical thing. And also, you know what? I don't know if I said this before or not, but every time Godot chugs his coffee back like that, like super hardcore, like he just did, I'll drink for that too, okay? That's what we will do. That is what is happening right now. Okay, cheers. my streamer went to law school well yeah how do you think i've been doing so good in this game this whole time and what we found was potassium cyanide that stuff really packs a punch okay potassium cyanide eh i've heard of that chemical before exactly how strong is this poison detective dick it's uh well it's stuff that stuff's lethal obviously as you can see eat too much and you'll get sick potassium cyanide's pretty deadly how much is too much? I don't know, I'm not a chemist. A lethal dose is 0.2 grams. That's about enough to finish anyone off. 0.2 grams? I don't know how much that is. You know when you swab your ears for earwax? Yeah, about that much. Is that true? That's really not that much. Earwax, huh? Sounds like something Gumshoe has got an abundance of, you fucking mucus boy. Mmm, such a small quantity of poison could have been concealed anywhere. B but maybe in like a small green vial? Maybe? I'm just throwing that out there as a possibility. And, um, it looks like Mr. M or rather, Miss Bird might have had, well, some kind of a motive. What is the motive? Some kind of a motive? Yeah, but if you ask me, it's been blown way out of proportion. Well, what was the motive? Tell me. You know what my golden rule is, detective. Chuck out a bad cup of coffee, you can always get another. It's just coffee, like it's pretty cheap. Huh? I don't get it. Neither do I. I although I don't get most of the things that comes out of this guy's mouth. He's just talking all sorts of nonsense non-stop all the time. It's 24-7. I don't like it. I don't like him. I'd punch him in the face if I could, but I can't. I'm saying we can always get another witness on the stand if you have to chuck you out. Gulp! So stick to the facts, detective. Now then, what was Ms. Bird's motive? Come on, gumshoe! She was, uh, they said she wanted to steal a lottery ticket. I knew it! That's what we heard yesterday, too. It disappeared from the scene of the crime. And it wasn't just any lottery ticket. Slam! It was a winning ticket for half a million! But that's too suspicious. 
Mr. Armstrong knew about the ticket too, didn't he? But he stole the wrong one! Then, is it possible Maggie stole the winning one? Oh, I hope not. What should I do? Should I always press harder? Yes. Oh, thanks, chat. I know I can always count on you. Let's see here. <clears throat> Potassium cyanide is a compound with the formula KCN, this colorless uh, crystalline salt. Similar in appearance to sugar, is highly soluble in water. Most KCN is used in gold mining, organic synthesis, and electroplating. Smaller applications include jewelry for chemical gliding, gilding, g gilding, and buffing. Science is hard. I can't read most words, but science words, they make my brain go smaller, actually. Potassium cyanide is highly toxic. The moist solid emits small amounts of hydrogen cyanide due to hydrolysis, which smells like bitter almonds. I don't know what that smells like, but I'll look out for bitter almonds, okay? I'll do it. And apparently 0.2 grams, which is enough for your earwax to get pulled out, is uh, the lethal dose. Wait a minute! The mere fact that the lottery ticket disappeared in no way implicates my client. Ha! You're right, but here we go. I have here in my hand the very ticket in question. That half a million dollar lottery ticket! One of the female police officers found it when she was conducting a search of the defendant, unfortunately. WHAT?! Well, yeah, but it was obviously planted. Come on! Order! Order! Ha! Ah, she's quite a lucky bird, our little waitress. Oh! Bur bird? Guys? Do you get a lucky bird? What's her name? Rem oh. Oh, you! You will submit that ticket as evidence to the court immediately! Ah, shit, I better keep an eye out on that ticket. The way the judge's voice is quivering. Victim's lottery ticket added to the court record. A winning ticket for half a milli. God damn, that's not too bad. Found during a body search of Maggie. But where was the ticket? This ticket was presented to the court in the previous trial too. But it feels heavier now somehow. Half a million dollars, you say? It's just a scrap of paper. What matters is where it was found, your honor. And that's on Maggie's person, unfortunately. That's enough! The facts of this case seem overwhelmingly clear to me. The defendant had ample opportunity to commit the crime of which she is charged. Furthermore, it seems beyond reasonable doubt that she did indeed commit this crime. We've barely started! No, this is not adequate at all! I like an old man who knows the score. Alright, keep it in the bedroom, bucko. There is also the matter of the half a million dollar lottery ticket! That alone provides a very credible motive. I mean, for that sum of money, even I might be tempted to bend the rules. <laughs> I don't mind an old man who is weak to the siren call of money. What? The fuck is Godot saying ever, but especially now? Population Adriana, by the way. Let's just get that nice and clear. Yeah. Not good, Nick. The evidence against Maggie is starting to pile up fast, and I think the judge kind of wants to kiss Godot. Yeah, that's because the court has ruled guilty once already. I'd say it's about time to wrap up this repeat performance. Glug, glug, glug. With one final decisive piece of evidence. He's got more evidence against Maggie? This is the apron the delightful Miss Bird was wearing at the time. Oh, it's covered in blood! Now how the hell are you gonna cover the apron in blood? What is he coughing up blood? Why was there no blood on the table? I'll get rid of the judge? Well, that's assuming that the judge doesn't get rid of you. More like one ticket to Godotville population, the judge. Wow, that's not the cleanest apron I've seen. That stain looks like it can't be. Blah, 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 blah. Ha, it seems the star of our play was a little flustered. What am I not? and somehow spilled coffee on herself. That's me, by the way, I'm the star. I'm the star. It's me! I'm the talent, I'm the star, always. The coffee, that's not exactly the first thing that caught my eye, but you know. Of course, the coffee stain isn't the most interesting thing about this apron. No, there's something else that stands out even more. Something else? I presume you mean the blood? Of course, I'm referring to the pocket. The pocket? A search carried out right after the incident uncovered this. Potassium cyanide, the very poison used by the killer, was in her apron pocket. 
Well, that's really not good for me, is it? A bottle of poison in Maggie's pocket? Yeah, and Maggie's prints were found the only ones on it. We lose, okay? Like, what do you want fake Phoenix Wright to do? It's over. We're not gonna win. What? Shit. Order, order, order! The court will accept these items into evidence. Apron added to the court record, yay. Worn by Maggie at the time of the incident. Has a small pocket, but big stains. Are we just going to gloss over the whole blood thing? Are we not going to be talking about this at all? How it's covered in fucking blood? Potassium sot? I guess so. A deadly powdery poison bears Maggie's fingerprints. Yeah, listen, I know what potassium cyanide is, okay? Court record, you do not have to tell me. There's something that still is bothering me, Mr. Godot. Why have you not explained the blood stain? Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. Please talk about it. Blood stain? What blood stain would that be? Don't play games, prosecutor. I almost said imposter. The blood colored stain that's smeared all over the apron? That's stupid. No one told me anything about a blood stain. He's colorblind. I mean, we already knew that he was colorblind from that thing he said earlier. Uh, is he just like blind blind? Is that going to be the big- Oh, I feel so bad for him, but he's blind, so I feel bad. Yeah, boo hoo hoo. Cause he can't- cause he just thinks it's coffee or something like that. I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't care. It doesn't change my mind. I'm still- I'm still punching him, okay? You don't need to be told! Just look at it! Unless you're blind or colorblind. Well, detective, could this stain really be- BLOOD! No way, sir! That's, uh, it's just ketchup, sir. Ketchup? Is that true? She must have gotten some on her apron while talking, taking someone their breakfast that day. Is that true? I don't know. You could have spoken up a little sooner, Detective Dick. Pull a stunt like that again and I'll have you drink 17 cups of ketchup, witness. Oh, I don't want to drink the ketchup. I thought everyone knew what it was already. Okay. Hmm, I haven't seen anything yet to make me doubt the last ruling I made in this case. Ah, shit. The motive, the opportunity, and the supporting evidence. They have all been clearly established. Okay. Well, Trite, it seems you really are a phony after all. Oh, you really know how to drive a man nuts! <sighs> Phrasing, Phoenix. Witness, please continue with your testimony. Describe for the court the crime scene and the findings of your investigation. Yo, is this the back-to-back -back Dick Gumshoe witness testimony? That's crazy. We rarely get those. He's usually off the stand by this point. The crime was reported at 2.25 p.m. by a kind of scary old man, sir. Okay, well, that's the thing, though. But, like, here's the thing about the autopsy report. Shoot. Died of potassium cyanide poisoning. Time of death was between 1.30 and 2.30 p.m. Well, then this is totally possible. We don't know. I was gonna say, you know, because we were talking about how he takes one sip and then he just falls over. He's dead. He's done. Boom. That's it. But if it's 1.30 to 2.30 p.m., then it could have been any time. We don't really know. It's impossible to say. We have to figure out what was on the radio. The radio is going to be so important at the end of the day. I just know it. Damn. She's hot. Poor Maggie had passed out from the shock. It must have been real tough for her. Killing that guy and all. The victim didn't have any identification. Wait a fucking second. So she was passed out? So you're telling me that she was passed out and he was dead and they were the two people there. And also, by the way, Armstrong is there too. And so he could have just snuck on by and grabbed the ticket and put it in her thing and put her prints all over the thing and just look, it's, it's Armstrong, dude. I know it's Armstrong. Get this idiot out of my sight. He is going to jail for real this time. The victim didn't have any identification on him, but we figured out who he was pretty quick. And then the investigation went smoothly. Too smoothly. Suspiciously smoothly. When Maggie was searched, we found the lottery ticket and the bottle of poison. And that was it. There was nothing else missing from this crime scene at all. Hmm. You identified the victim and searched your prime suspect. Very good. Gold star. No, cringe, actually. Last chance to convince the court you're a real lawyer, trite. What? 
Aren't I, like, famous at this point? Like, shut up. I'm always... No one's going to... Everyone hates me, don't they? I know they do. Don't count on any more cross-examinations after this one. So, let the fun begin. Whatever, fine. I will. The investigation. Here we go. The crime was reported at 225 by a kind of scary old man, sir. I think I know who you're talking about. Scary old man, Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, there's an old man who's a regular at the restaurant where the incident happened. Ah, we're obviously talking about the same old man. Officers were dispatched right after the report came in, but the old guy still made a fuss. What took you so long? Then he hurled abuse at him and seeds. Just so many seeds. He just has so many goddamn seeds for some reason. Hmm, seeds. Ha, it was nothing. I caught each one with my teeth. No, you didn't. You're blind. You couldn't have done that. I guess not even the mighty Godot can avoid being attacked by that guy. The old man was the only... <laughs> I caught them with my teeth. I'm sorry, that's just kind of silly. The old man was the only other customer in that place at the time. No, that's wrong. He took his time finding a payphone, apparently, so he was late reporting the crime. Was he? Maybe, I don't know. Poor Maggie had passed out from the shock. It must have been a real tough day for her. Probably. How long was the defendant unconscious for? The officers got to the crime scene at around 2.40. Maggie was still out cold in the kitchen at the time. It took another 10 minutes or so before she came to. I would have liked to have been on the scene myself. I bet she would have liked to have carried out the search too. Because it's like her breast pocket, you fucking pervert. I would have loved to see Maggie sleep like that, all pretty and peaceful. <sighs> dick. Dick, dick, dick. What are we going to do with you? That's like, is that the weirdest thing he said? Is he going to say, oops, did I say that out loud? Oops, that's a, 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 a <laughs> Things you don't say in court, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, if I was in Dick's place right now, I simply wouldn't say this. I just, I just wouldn't do it. Prepare for the twit longer, gumshoe. Your time has fucking come. Cheers, by the way. I'm taking a drink for that one for sure. <sighs> That's a weird thing to say, Dick. I'm disappointed in you. Kate, I've heard you say worse. Like what? Give me one example of something worse that I've said. It's not true because I've never done it. I only say things that are true and reasonable and funny. That's what a streamer should do. That's what a streamer's all about. It's the truth. I've never said I've never said anything like I would have loved to see Maggie asleep like that all pretty and peaceful. Nothing that creepy at all. You're a professional, Dick. Not a professional bird watcher, and I'm not talking about that type of bird, you know. Save the romantics for your own time, detective. All we need to know about is the investigation. Oops, I guess I'm pretty red right now, aren't I? Ha 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 ha. The victim didn't have any identification on him. Hold it! I don't know what this is going to do, but he didn't have any? Are you saying that it was stolen, then? No, I don't think so. The victim didn't have a driver's license or even a credit card on him, pal. All he had was 58 cents in his wallet. 58 cents? Is that even enough to get a coffee at that shit place? Yeah, I can't believe I found someone with less in their wallet than me, pal! The victim sounds like he was a thoroughly miserable young man! Well, that's a sad thing to say. Or some kind of outlaw. Why not give him a bit of an edge? I don't know. Why, yes. I think I'm on to something here, maybe? I don't know, maybe. But we figured out who he was pretty quick, and then the investigation went smoothly. Tell me about that investigation. Wait a second. Huh? Did I say something dumb again? Yes. Let me paraphrase what you were what you just said. The victim didn't have any form of ID on him. That's basically what you said, yes? Yeah, basically. In that case, how were you able to identify the victim so quickly? Oh, dad. He's so let down. He's got the whole sagging shoulders and puppy eyes thing going on. There was a prescription bag on the victim's tape. What? 
And we're just now learning about this, really? You couldn't have told me beforehand? God, I wish I could have read the court records or the police records or any sort of records. Fuck, man. There was a prescription bag on the victim's table along with the lottery ticket. It seems Mr. Glenn Elg visited his doctor before he went to Trabian. We got the victim's name from the medical records of the doc who prescribed the meds. Hmm, that's a reliable enough source for this court. What should I do? Should I leave this up? Always! Wait a minute, what are we talking about? Ask about the prescription bag, ask about his health insurance? Let's talk about the prescription bag. What kind of drugs he popping? So, what sort of drugs he popping? Well, actually, the bag we found was empty. Huh? Yeah, completely empty. It was completely empty? Victim's prescription bags. The victim got this from the doctor before going to Trabian. The bag is empty. It's... it's getting... Is the... does the bag say getting big? Is that what it says? G-I-T-N? Big? Getting big? Ha! Maybe not. I hope not. You're entering an empty paper bag as evidence. Desperate, are you trite? No. Ah! It says Glen Elg? No, it doesn't. I don't- No, that's wrong. No, it, it- Clearly it says getting big. That's a B. That's an I. That's a G. Let's not- Let's not play around, guys. You've trolled me plenty. You don't have to troll me anymore. But we know what it says. We all know. Now, what happened with the investigation after that, detective? Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to do that. When Maggie was searched, we found the lottery ticket and the bottle of poison. That's very convenient. But the defendant had been passed out for a while, right? In that case, isn't it possible someone planted the evidence in Maggie's pocket when she was unconscious for like, what, like 20 minutes? Hey, yeah, you nailed it, pal. <sighs> it happens to me all the time. We had a department party the other day, and when I got home, I was wearing the boss's shoes. What? Keep up this crazy testimony, detective, and those shoes will end up down your throat. Sorry. So trite, someone planted the evidence in Maggie's pocket. That's a pretty bold statement. Care to back it up with some evidence? Ah, jeez, do I? Um, well, I'd love to, if I had any. So no, don't do that. It appears you have no evidence to support your theory, Mr. Wright. Continue with your testimony, witness. Okay. And that was it. There was nothing else missing from the crime scene. There was nothing else missing from the crime scene, huh? Okay. So, the half a million dollar lottery ticket and the bottle of poison were accounted for. Yeah. Interesting. It's true that those two items are accounted for. But wasn't there another lottery ticket that was stolen that day? Oh, yeah. The one the restaurant owner took. He won a whole dollar with it. What a lucky guy, huh? And they're just going to let him get away with it? <laughs> Apparently, it was just one dollar, detective. I guess no one cares when it's that little, except for Gumshoe, because it's a lot to him, because he's stupid. If I don't find a hole in this testimony, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. Gumshoe isn't giving us anything to work with, and we can't find any contradictions if he doesn't give us something. Yeah, that's true. But Maggie and Gumshoe are like dumb and dumber. Our only hope is that they were so dumb they missed something obvious. Come on, Gumshoe, be the dumbest you've ever been. That's just happening all the time, though. The crime was reported at 2.25 p.m. Okay, so what was the thing that we were talking about? It was this statement, but, but we figured out uh, who he was pretty quick, and then the investigation went smoothly. When Maggie was searched, we found the lottery ticket and the bottle of poison. What was that thing that Godot was yelling at me about not having evidence for, and Phoenix was like, yeah, I don't have evidence. It's probably not that one, but I think it might be. I don't know. And that was it. There was nothing else missing from the crime scene. Well, what about the fucking meds itself? What about? Can we hear that one more time? So the hat. Oh, so it was the it was the the, the the tickets. Yeah, interesting. Those two items are accounted for. But wasn't there another lottery ticket that was stolen that day? Oh yeah, it's that guy who took it. I guess no one cares if it's that little uh, gumshoe. And if we can't find any contradictions, it's just be stupid, be dumber. Would it not be, like, where did this go? Is this accounted for? Surely it is, because the bag is empty. We used this to find out who dude was. That makes me feel suspicious. What does the getting big bag have to do with any of this? I'm going to do it, chat. 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Detective Dick, I think I should point something out to you. There is just one small contradiction in your testimony. Oh, ho finally! I'm getting all anxious just waiting, so hurry up, will ya? Yeah, you testified that nothing else was missing from the crime scene. However, the prescription bag you mentioned was empty. Did the officers recover the medicine from the scene of the crime later? Uh, no, they didn't. Oh! The victim was given a prescription right before going to Trabian, though. Where then did all the medicine go? You... You... Are too cool, pal! Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. Indeed! Due consideration wasn't given to the victim's prescription in the previous trial. Witness, why do you always overlook such vital pieces of evidence? I, uh, I guess that's the most careless thing I've done so far, huh? No. The victim was killed by poison, and the victim's medicine mysteriously disappeared. The victim's own prescription could have been the lethal poison itself. Unless it wasn't for potassium cyanide. I mean, I feel like that's a pretty specific thing. Do human beings need to eat potassium cyanide? Is that a good thing? I feel like that's bad. Maybe it was conduct like concocted into the poison, but I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not a chemist. I don't know how this works. I don't know. Order, order! Well, Mr. Godot, what do you have to say that to that? Ha! Huh. That's all. Just ha. Huh. What? Read the court name of the clinic on the prescription bag, if you will. What's the clinic's name got to do? Don't be hottie. Please don't be hottie. Don't do it. New ear. Oh, I don't. I can't. Cl Otolaryngological. The ears. Just what kind of illness was the victim suffering from, Mr. Godot? Some type of ear infection? Hardly an illness, your honor. Mmm, delicious coffee. More like a bitter war wound, you could say. A war wound? The day before the incident, Mr. Elg found himself in a fight. Okay. Of war? He took a blow to the side of the head and ruptured his eardrum. Well, that's not good. He ruptured his what? Well, then how was he listening to the, the radio if he had a ruptured eardrum? That's where we're going with this, right? Then what on earth was the prescription he was given? It was a cream that was to be applied topically. Inside his ear canal, not to be ingested. What? I mean, yeah, we could have just, like, asked what was the prescription, but I guess this is a much more dramatic way of doing it, so that's good. It's mentioned in the autopsy report. If you read the fine print, they found traces of the medication in the victim's left ear. Excuse you? No, they fucking didn't. Died of potassium cyanide poisoning. Time of death was between 1.30 and 2.30 p.m. Now, where are we talking about topical potions that we can rub in our ear in this piece of information? That's not stated here. No, it's not. Yes, here it is in very, very fine print. What? It seems Mr. L correctly applied some of his medication while he was at Trabian. Therefore, it would be absurd to believe that he... Oh my god. Is this an autopsy update moment? Are we updating the autopsy because I didn't fucking read it? I didn't read the autopsy report? Like the most important part of a murder case? I didn't fucking look at it closely enough? Come on, man! Come on! Therefore, it would be absurd to believe that he would have eaten his medication. Uh, it seems that this medication is irrelevant to the case after all. No! Nick, you idiot! If you don't think of something quick, it'll all be over. Yeah, she's got a point. But I can't get away with any old weak objections. What should I do? Push the medication issue? Leave it. Just push it, man. Just push it. I don't know. Don't leave it there. Only moments ago, Mr. Godot made the following statement. It seems Mr. Elg correctly applied some of his medication before... Yeah, why was it empty? Some of his medication while he was at Trabian? What happened to the rest of it, huh? If that's the case, then why was the medication not found at the scene of the crime? Ah, oh, shit. But the medication in question was for topical use inside the ear canal. Yeah, that doesn't change the fact that it could not be found at the crime scene, though. However insignificant it may be, it's a lawyer's duty to pursue the truth. Why are you objecting to that? You know as well as I do that the medication is irrelevant, Slam. It hardly seems like a prescription drug would contain potassium cyanide. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. 
It hardly seems likely that the coffee the waitress served would contain it either. But it did. The possibility is undeniable. Uh! You better start steaming, boy. I'm getting your ass. That's enough, Mr. Godot. Is the detective the witness, the only witness the prosecution wishes to call? Mr. Godot? He's pissed off. Uh, I, uh, I've got my own witness I'd like to call, sir. It's the old man who was the- Oh, jeez, I'm gonna get so many seeds thrown at me. This is not good. It's the old man who was there in the restaurant on the day of the murder. Victor Kudo, the pigeon hater? Very well. The matter of the disappearing medication seems to be little more than trivial at best. However, it wasn't explored at all in the previous trial, and that is something that bothers me. Yay, you did it! I know, I'm very smart. The court will adjourn for a ten minute recess, after which we will hear the prosecution's next witness. Ha! <laughs> I suppose this means I'll just have to finish you off in my last six cups. Court has adjourned! Goodbye, go away. Just get out of here, guys, come on. Just, just get out of here, man. January 7th, 1103 AM. Hey, that one only took an hour and three minutes. That was pretty quick. Ooh, that was close. Tell me about it. I nearly died in there. That's my line, sir. No, it's my line. I think I really did die a little bit. Looks like we all nearly died in there. I can't believe Detective Gumshoe. How could he betray us like that? What? Huh? He said he'd help me, but he totally set me up! I don't think he meant to do that, Maggie. He was just... he's stupid, you know? I mean, the guy's got to do his job, right? It's okay, I know all about lies and betrayal. I've had them my whole life. But it really hurt this time. It felt like someone punched me hard in the tummy. I hate that guy! I don't ever want to see him again! Poor dick. Well, that's sad. My poor guy. So the next witness is going to be that old guy from the park, right? Yeah, Mr. Kudo, lover of waitress outfits and big titties and projectile seeds. I bet he's gonna projectile his... Never mind. I bet he's gonna be really stubborn. I mean, he's pretty set in his ways, you know. Yeah, he's a big old grouch. Are you going to be able to handle him, Nick? I don't know. I'll try my best. Yeah, I can take whatever he throws at me, even those never-ending bird seeds. I'll try! I didn't say it! Calm down! 11.15 a.m. District Court, courtroom number come. BAM! Court will now reconvene for the trial of Maggie Bird! Mr. Godot, your next witness, please! The prosecution calls the lucky old-timer who caught the show over a cup of coffee. Will the witness please take the stand? There he is. Don't you toss those seeds at me, boy. Name and occupation, if you don't mind. The name's Victor Kudo, born and bred in the land of the rising sun. Honor and duty are what make me, don't mind you, I can be quite emotional at times, too. Yeah, we don't need to hear about that, Mr. Kudo. Just tell us the, your, your name and occupation. That's all I'm after. My occupation? Carl, listen, youngin. How much coal do you think there is for kimono embroidery here? Kimono embroidery? I don't know. That's what I do, or did, back in Japan. I embroidered family crests on kimonos. My ancestors were embroidering kimonos before this court even existed. Wow, that's cool. They're a dying breed. Hey, maybe he could embroider my costume sometime. Anyway, like I said, there's not much demand for that kind of thing here. So I had to take a job working the cash register at a burger joint, pretending to smile. That burger joint would have been better off putting him in the kitchen, if you know what I mean. Now then, witness, were you in the restaurant at the time of the incident? Oh yes, I was eating some seeds over a cup of javacino. Javacino? Javacino? It's just, it's, he, Dunkachino. Seeds? What do you think these are, hmm? Uh, okay. So you saw everything that happened, Gramps. Did I? Oh yes! Oh yes, I did. Then please, tell the court. We're all ears. Sure, sure, I'll tell you. I'll tell you every last detail. He's really getting into this, ain't he? He sure is. What I witnessed? You know what I witnessed? My streamer, Ouija the God, walking away to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, okay? Goodbye.
once again trying to figure out what this old man wants. How is it got sub to Ouija the God on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ouija the God. Yeah, I agree with that. Do it. Let's all make sure that happens right now. Any primers? Any gifters? It's almost September, isn't it? I forgot all about that, but that's like a thing that's coming up. I should probably like go hard on streaming that month, shouldn't I? Uh, thank you. Oh wait, Sergeant Guy gets to 200 bits? Huh? I didn't even see it. Oh, hi, Sergeant Guy. 200 bits, secret bathroom bits, don't tell Ouija. Ooh, we got some snitches in the chat, sorry. How do you prime sub? Uh, you click on the little subscribe button under the stream and you see if you have it, and then you give it to me if you do. Uh, and if you don't, then you click on uh, just subscribe for $4.99. That's, that's how it works, it's how it, it's what, it's how it happens. So, a young man was reading the sports paper. Okay. The serving. Wait a minute, that's not Maggie Bird! Guys, that's not Maggie Bird. That's that lady with the bandages and she's a ghost, but she's not a ghost, but she. That ain't Maggie Bird! I've seen Maggie Bird, that's not her. The serving girl brought him a Javacino, but she put something in it. The man took one sip of it, looked like he was in terrible pain, and then he collapsed. And that's the serving girl right there in the defendant's chair. I remember her well. No, you don't. Oh my god, this all makes too much sense. You don't remember what she looks like because you never look at the face. You just look at the body and the maid outfit. And if they don't have huge titties and ass, you say, No, I don't like it. Take it back. Become a Mia. I don't want it. That's the thing. So that's what it's all going to come down to. But who was Ghost? But literally, who was Ghost? I don't know. This dude's not even listening to the radio. I thought this was going to like go into his ear. I'm just now seeing, but it's not. It's, it's like around his face. So, that's the serving girl right there. Yes, it's her, totally. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Mr. Kudo, she is not a serving girl. Please refer to her as a waitress. Ha! You're as bad as the rest of them. All these newfangled words. What's wrong with the old fashioned ones? Hmm? Newfangled? I'm like, it's 85. Thank you very much, Lion Bite, for the 100 biddies. Kudo and his dump truck nose. His nose looks so... I just... It makes me feel uncomfortable. I really don't like it. I don't like the way he flicks it with his wrist. It just... It pisses me off. All this talk of radios and glasses, it's wireless and spectacles, I tell you. What? Listen to me, everyone. Don't forget the old values. Don't let the good days slip away. I'm a boomer. Well, uh, okay, cross-examine time. I guess so, Your Honor. I'll try my best and hopefully not have a bunch of seeds thrown into my face. But if they are thrown in my face, I'll just catch them with my teeth. That's what I'll do. It's as easy as that for me. I'm very good at doing it. Here we go. The young man was reading the sports paper. Hold it! Was he, though? So you saw the victim, then? You saw Mr. Glyn Elg? I wanted to know if Gustan Braun, Gustin Braun, rather, retained his championship or not. So he was looking at the sports paper the victim was reading, huh? And at the location in question. Hmm. There are partitions between tables on the same side of the restaurant, right? So what if there are? If you say that you could see the victim, that means you were sitting right there, probably, or maybe somewhere else, I don't know. That means you were sitting at a table on the other side of the restaurant, yeah? Yeah, I go to that place to drink Javacino. I don't go to shit, I don't remember which table I was sitting at. I mean, you go there to eye the waitress. Yo, perv! The serving girl brought him a Javacino, but she put something in it. What did she put in it? We don't know that for sure. Would you let Godot spit his coffee on you? No. Is what, 67%? I would hope not, guys. I would really hope not. That's more for Adriana. And not me. Mr. Kudel, that is a very grave accusation. Are you sure about what you saw? Victor Kudo never makes a mistake. I dot every T and cross every I. Okay. My eyesight's fine. The doctor said I only need spectacles for reading and driving. I bet his eyes are only really fine when he's scoping out a waitress. Because he's a pervert guy. And I saw what the serving girl put into the Javacino as well. I bet I know what's coming up and something tells me I am not going to like it. I will press harder. Your Honor. 
We need more clarification on what was put into the victim's copy. I'd like to ask that the witness add what he knows about this to the testimony. Hmm, I agree. Witness, will you enlighten us, please? Sure, sure, okay. <laughs> There's no question about it. She very conspicuously put some white powder in there. Okay, sugar. Probably just sugar, though, right? Did she really put that into the coffee? You doubt me, boy. She took some out of a small brown bottle and sprinkled it in. So not a small green bottle? That's not good. Couldn't she have been adding sugar? Sugar in a small brown bottle like that? Like that? Witness, could you please describe the bottle in more concrete terms? Ha! Uh, a bottle like this, perhaps? Oh, there it is! That's the one! That's the bottle of potassium cyanide, I presume? So, what did the accused put into the coffee? I think it's clear, don't you? Ah, oh, shit. The man took one sip of it, looked like he was in terrible pain, and then collapsed. Okay, that's not good. He just took one sip? Like, one, and immediately died? Again, that's like intense stuff. Yo, youngins, you waste everything! Those Java Chinos cost eight dollars! So how the hell did dude only have 58 cents in his pocket or whatever? It just doesn't make any sense at all, does it? In the good old days, we would have drank every last drop, eaten the cup, and then died. What? I would hope not. Con Cena! Thank you very much for the five gifted tier one subs. Con Cena, thank you. Congratulations, you have earned the title of baddiest man to grace a courtroom. Yo, coot! Damn old coot! I'm gonna take two. This is sassy enough for me to take a drink, okay? So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to drink for the five gifted subs. Why would anyone sub to Adriana right now is a thing that I am saying independently. I don't know. There's just simply no reason to do it. Because uh, I, I am the one who is the streamer. Anyway, sub to Kate at twitch.tv slash Ouija the God. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Yo, what's up, hacker? How's it going? Hello, attorney sus trial. I think I might have uh, been a little bit preemptive for the sus trial thing because I don't think my red imposter is showing up this trial. It's probably a next trial type thing. But we're going to get to the bottom of it. We are going to figure out why a red pissed off Boston accent me riding a little scooter around is uh, trying to get Maggie Bird convicted of poisoning a guy's coffee. I don't know what's going up with that, but we'll figure it out for sure. Just got to take a couple of drinks first. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yes, a one-way ticket to Drinkville. Population, Cade. That's so true. So true. So facts. Put a Ouija drink at the end of that and it's perfect. Yeah, it's Tiger Phoenix. He looks badass. He really does. Like, that Phoenix Wright could beat this Phoenix Wright's ass. Like, there's no doubt about it. It'd be so easy for him. Okay. Okay. I Wait, I avoided the question. Wait, what? What was the question? Was it to me? Am I a great mod? Uh, eh. Cheers! All right, congratulations, you have earned the title of baddiest man to grace a courtroom. So, it was an immediate death? Well, with potassium cyanide, I suppose that's possible. But wait a second, that's not true, because if it was instant, then it wouldn't say 1.30 to 2.30, would it? Which is uh, right here, Glenn's autopsy report. Adriana's a good mod, okay? There, I said it. Adriana, you're a good mod. There, I said it. Are you happy now? Are you pleased? Is Adriana a great mod? Just let the just let the poll say it, okay? I don't have to. The, the, the poll never lies. The poll is always honest, okay? So, it was an immediate death. Well, with potassium cyanide, I suppose that is possible. Oh, yes, he slumped over without so much as a twitch. I felt the javachino I just drank turn sour in my stomach. Oh, yes, I know that feeling. I drink 17 cups an hour. And the waitress, I presume she's, uh, what? That's the serving girl right there in the defendant's chair. I remember- Okay, yeah, hold it, mister. You said I remember her well in reference to the waitress? 
Did she have any particular features that you can identify her by? Oh boy, here we go. I'm just gonna preemptively pour the drink now because I feel like that's uh, gonna, it's gonna be a drink that we're gonna have to do. There it is. Okay. Particular features, it's a disgrace. That's what it is. Sorry, wait, what? You can see all the way up to her, her, you know. She's practically naked in that uniform. I do remember him saying these exact words before. Objection. So the particular feature you recognize about the waitress is her outfit. But anyone could wear just such a uni- and Wait. Hold on. But anyone could wear just such an uniform, even me. Mr. Wright? That's a- is that a typo? An uniform? You don't say an uniform. A uniform? Wait, no, that's- Yeah, that's a typo, ain't it? It has to be. Is it not? That's a big typo right there. That's a huge typo. A uniform. Yeah, they don't say an uniform. What the hell is an uniform? What does that even mean? Okay. <laughs> an uniform. Yeah. It's totally different. 69%. Nice vote. Adriana is a great mod. There it is. You happy now, Adriana? You validated. Yeah, you do a pretty good job here. Fine, I'll admit it. It's fine. You're do you're doing good. It's fine. Mr. Wright, please spare the court of any further mental anguish from that image. Don't get all excited, Nick. Teehee, you've gotta keep yourself together. I guess I got a bit carried away. Ha! There are other things I recognize about her, too. He seems pretty sure of himself. What should I do? Always, always, always. Sure, he saw a waitress take the coffee over to the victim. But what matters is whether the waitress was Maggie Bird or not. Quite right. Mr. Kudo, these are the features that you recognize about the defendant. I would ask you to add them to your testimony. Okay. <laughs> There was a ribbon in her hair, and the apron straps were loose. Now, is that a thing that we know about? Okay, there was a... There were ribbons in her hair, and the apron straps were loose? I don't know by this picture. How am I supposed to know? Do you think old CD? <laughs> old CD. Really saw Maggie do it? Well, he probably had his eye on the waitress the whole time. I didn't mean to skip that. I should have pressed it. That's why he was there. But he was there for the cute outfits, right? Not the waitress. I guess. Hmm, she makes a good point, though. Hey, did I just say something clever? No, that never happens. I wonder if the waitress Mr. Kudo saw really was Maggie. I know that it wasn't, though. I don't know what to do. Is Hacker a good mod? 73% vote, eh? What? What did Hacker do wrong? Less than Adriana, I know that much. That's what we have to figure out, Nick! I'll figure it out. I, I have to press uh, this one. Here we go. Because I forgot to. You do seem to remember several details about her appearance, but what about the most crucial detail of all? Her face. I don't look at that shit ah, as if I would remember that face. Objection! Objection? What? The witness noticed the straps on the accused apron. He's unlikely to make a mistake about her face. That's right, I can even tell you the color of the ribbon in her hair. It was red. Well, that's orange. You know, if you really look at it and think about it, that's, that's orange. So, that doesn't, yeah, I mean, that's not my girl. So you see, there's nothing wrong with the witness's eyesight. Hmm. There's no doubt he remembers the waitress pretty well. What should I do? I get the feeling there's something more to this somehow. Leave it, ask about the straps, ask about the waitress's back. Uh, yeah, let's go with the more interesting one. The identifying features you described are all things you would see from the back. So what? Is it possible that you never saw the waitress from the front at all? Objection. Objection. What? Ha, he's got you there, Gramps. People normally talk about facial features when they're asked to describe someone. But this witness's testimony is nothing but tr straps and ribbons. This is harassment. No, it's you. I tell you I'm not obsessed with straps or ribbons. I'm just telling you what I saw. Yeah, right. 
Mr. Kudo, the quarter quest that you add details about any identifying features, features you observe from the front, that is, to your testimony. Okay, this old man's testimony is getting longer and longer. And if I can't find a hole in it soon, it'll get even longer, I bet. Probably. There wasn't anything that caught my interest about her when I saw her from the front. Well, that's just rude. Hold it, though. You didn't find anything to be distinct, but you did clearly see the witness's face, right? No question about it! Oh, I skipped that one line. That's my bad. I pressed A too quickly. That's not the answer I was looking for, but, erm, um, okay. This has turned into a matter of pride for old CD now. I wonder if he really did see Maggie's face. Like I thought, we need some concrete proof. Proof that the old guy didn't see the waitresses, the waitress clearly from the front. Do you think old CD really saw Maggie do it? Well, he probably had his eye on the waitress the whole time. That's why he was there. But he was there for the cute outfits, right? Not the waitress, I guess. Hmm, she makes a good point, though. The outfit, not the waitress. Hey, did I send it? No, you never say anything smart. Don't worry about it. You did not. So... What was that, what was that thing you said again? There wasn't anything caught my interest about her when I saw her from the front. Wasn't she covered in ketchup and blood and coffee? Unless that was before. Apron, worn by Maggie at the time of the incident, has small pocket but big stains. I want to do this one more time. I didn't see it all. You didn't find anything? No question about it. I didn't come this far to back down now. Victor Kudo never backs down. Well, that is not the answer I was looking for, actually, but okay. But it is still suspicious, though, wasn't it? Because, like, what was it covered in, like, this red substance? Or was it not? Especially if you saw it from the front, I feel like that's something you would pretty easily identify, you know? Covered in big stains? Little pockets, but big stains? I feel like that's suspicious enough to present, but if that's not it, we'll just figure something else out. But I, I think this is- I have- I have a good feeling. Objection! Objection! Mr. Kudo, I would like you to take a look at this. Ka, that filthy thing would suit filth like you just perfectly- Okay, fuck you too, buddy. Actually, it reminds me of what my grandson looks like just after he's done eating. Have you ever seen this before? Of course I haven't! Do you think I'd forget something as dirty as that? Mm -hmm. Well, you have with a clot! He called me a clot? What an asshole, first of all. Second of all, he threw all the bird seeds at me and that's a drink! Ha 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 ha! Oh, I've got you now, you old coot! Huh? What? What is it? Ever since I said you have wooden clawed, there's been an eerie silence. Mr. Kudo, this apron is the apron worn by the defendant on the day of the poisoning! Uh? Yeah, you bet, uh? And you just said yourself you wouldn't forget something like this. Which means, if you had really been- if you had really seen this apron before- <gasps> Erm. Yes, you know what I'm getting at. You couldn't have possibly seen the waitress from the front! What's the deal? I need the info right now! I'm taking a drink, okay? Let me do that real fast. This old man is a real old bastard. I don't like him one bit. I want to throw bird seeds at him. Until he's no longer with us, if you know what I mean. Really hard. Like, I've got a great arm, trust me. I could do it too. Like, no one would even know. Yeah, 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 look. You saw the black hair, which, you know, Maggie Bird doesn't have. You saw the red ribbon, which she wasn't wearing because it was orange. She saw her, she saw her butt. It's, you, it's all these things, it just, it doesn't matter. These, none of this matters right now. There's no time for any of this. I need to know the face. Did you see the face or not? I know you didn't, I know you didn't. Oops, hee <laughs> hee, sorry. My bad, hee <laughs> hee. What's this? You can't just oops your way out of a testimony. Ha! Well, well. Looks like we finally have a genuine trial on our hands. Mmm, sip. Yeah, it looks that way, huh? Listen, Trite, here are the facts. On the day of the incident, there was only one waitress in the restaurant. That being the defendant, Miss Maggie Bird? Exactly. And when that one waitress put the poison into the coffee cup, this old guy was watching. Hmm. 
I hope you understand the gravity of the situation, Mr. Kudo. The fate of the defendant may rest on what you say you remember seeing. Just tell the court exactly what you saw, Gramps. You can rely on me, Captain. My noggin's in perfect working order. I don't think that's true. I can't remember a single occasion when I forgot what burger a customer wanted. He can't remember? Probably more like he messed up so many times he's blocking it out. Actually, very well, let's just hear it again one more time. No more lies this time, please, witness, please. About the victim. Please tell me everything you know about the victim, please. He was another one of those pesky young types wearing a broken pair of spectacles. Broken pair of spectacles? Well, I didn't see that. He had a newspaper in his right hand and the noisy brat kept rustling its pages. The young man was listening to the wireless. That means radio. I remember that well. Then the serving girl in question brought over the jabuccino. The little fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. And? And? He died. The testimony we have just heard was to the test was to test how credible the witness's memory is. It seems to me that he remembers the victim in a great deal of detail. Oh yes, I hate those you know what types who are so vague about everything. How are we going to handle it, Nick? I don't know. We only need to do one thing. We just need to prove that the old man's memory is bad. Just trip him up, you mean? Isn't that kind of mean? I suppose, but it's what I do best. Ha 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 ha. I am a lawyer after all. Ha ha ha, you know. About the victim. Tell me about the victim. He was another one of those pesky youngins wearing a broken pair of spectacles. Was he though? Are we calling those spectacles? Spectacles? A dark glasses to you. One of the lenses was green, but the other was broken. No fangled rubbish. That's why I remember him so well. He did have some kind of scouter on his left eye, but I wouldn't have called it a pair of glasses or spectacles for that matter. Hmm, he seems to have been wearing some rather modern looking shades. It's Google Glass. Perhaps I should take to wearing some and rival Mr. Godot's sharp appearance. Ah, we better come up with something sharp and quick. I guess we'll wait and see if I should challenge him about the spectacles. I guess so. He had a newspaper in his right hand, and the noisy brat kept rustling its pa- Yeah, I was trying to see if the dude had won the thing, or... Which he didn't. Something, 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 the thing that Maggie Bird said, the thing that Maya said, it's like, yeah. The newspaper was a sports paper, wasn't it? The young hooligan, I nearly asked him, can't you even read without fidgeting, hmm? How was I supposed to be able to read the back page with all that rustling going on? I needed to find out if Guston Braun re- <laughs> Fuck. Man, I'm gonna have to take a drink every time this comes up too. Guston Braun retained his championship title. Every time we're talking about Guston Braun retaining his championship title, that's a drink, okay? Surely this has to be the last time. Just wait until next case when we're actually representing Gustin Braun and he's not representing and not retaining his title because he killed someone or something like that. I, I, I could see it. It's Gutson. It's Gutson Braun. Yeah, I know that, guys. It's like a, it was a joke. It went over your head, but I was, I was too funny for you there, okay? I am often too funny for most of you, but now especially more than ever. You just wouldn't get it, okay? You wouldn't get it. I took the drink. I'm going to play the game now. It was his paper, not yours. If you wanted to know so bad, why didn't you buy your own? What are you looking at? Oh, come on, man. Don't throw those at my face. Guts and Brian got beaten yesterday, by the way, anyway. Yeah, I know, I know. I am aware of that. The young man was listening to the wireless. I remember that well. Okay, what does that mean? The wireless? You mean the radio? Uh, duck, you fucking idiot. In my day, it was uh, the, uh, the, read the paper or listen to the wireless. Yeah, oh boy. And using an earpiece, it's selfish, that's what it is. I was straining my ears, but I couldn't catch any of it. Was he that desperate to listen to the fucking radio? What a weirdo. What are you looking- Oh my god, stop! Ow! Ow! Then the serving girl in question brought over the javachino. Hold it. 
You mean the waitress who you only saw from behind, right? You're one of those, are you? You never let anything go, isn't that right? Uh, maybe. What does it matter if I saw her? Oh my god! Ow! Ow! I better not push it until I've got some hard evidence. The little fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. Okay. His free hand? Yes. Which hand was that? Weren't you listening before, cloth ears? I said he was rustling the newspaper with his right hand, didn't I? Oh my god, this is a mistake. Ow, 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 ow. Ha. Perhaps the great Mr. Trite has three hands. Yeesh. I was only asking. No need to gang up on me and treat me like a freak. The whole point of this cross-examination is to establish just one thing. That this old guy who's eating bird seeds... Is... It has more holes than a slice of Swiss. Because he's stupid. I guess we just need to find a contradiction in his testimony somewhere, huh? Anything will do, even the smallest detail. We just need one mistake, and his ass is grass and I'm the lawn mower. He was another of those pesky young types wearing a broken pair of spectacles. Okay, it's fair enough. He had a newspaper in his right hand, and the noisy brat just kept rustling the pages. With one hand? Can you one hand a newspaper? They're kind of like huge, aren't they? I thought so. The young man was listening to the wireless. I remember that well. Then the serving girl in question brought over the javachino. The little fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. Okay, the whole point of this cross-examination is to establish that his memory is like a Swiss cheese. It's got a lot of holes, and he is dumb, and I'm smart. What kind of evidence we got to present here, you know? We got the magazine clipping that's irrelevant right now. We have the, uh, the, the sports paper itself, left by the victim. Doodle is in the hand, uh, the victim's handwriting. That's kind of weird. MC Bomber. How does my guy, Mask to Mask, tie into all of this? Yeah, I know I have to do four drinks, guys. I'm gonna do it, too. Don't you worry. It's gonna be fine. Job listings, lunch special, Jean's loan contract, scooter, irrelevant right now, Glenn's autopsy report, diapotassium cyanide, uh, it's not relevant. Trabian floor plan, that can't, I mean, maybe it is. Like, did you actually see what he was doing? So if he was sitting bottom right and victim was sitting immediately above him, like, yeah, I guess you could see what's going on. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Crime photo, there it is. Wait, is he, wait, is this where he was sitting? It's not a spoiler if you refresh my memory. When was this photo taken? Obviously after he died. But why was it taken from this angle? That's what I need to know. I don't know. Crime photo. A photo, in, a photo of the scene of the, taken near the kitchen. That's near the kitchen. Okay. Okay, okay. Coffee cup. The coffee contained potassium cyanide covered in the victim and Maggie's fingerprints. Covered in the victim and Maggie's fingerprints. Okay. Victim lottery ticket. That's important. Uh, worn by Maggie at the time of the incident has a small pocket, but huge stains. They're massive. Potassium cyanide, a deadly powdery poison. Bears Maggie's fingerprints found in her apron pocket. Uh, victim's prescription bag. Um, he was another one of those pesky young types wearing a broken pair of spectacles. He had a newspaper in his right hand, and the noisy brat just kept rustling its pages. The young man was listening to the wireless. I remember that well. Then the serving girl in question brought over the javachino. The little fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. The coffee contained potassium cyanide covered in the victim and Maggie's fingy prints. But if it wasn't Maggie, then how was it covered in Maggie's fingy prints? Because you never, you never identified that it was her, that's the thing is what I'm most curious about. I'm gonna save and then maybe present that, and if it doesn't work, I'll just try something else, okay? Let's just try it out. Yeah, we'll see. Something, something powder, something, something the fingerprints, something, something the uh, lip stain on the mug. Yo, Mr. Kudo, do you remember what you were told at the start of this testimony? 
that this was a way of testing the credibility of your memory? I know, I know, there's nothing I don't know. If I got anything wrong, I'll eat these seeds and sling the pigeon song. Sing the pigeon song. Care to tell us where this is going, trite? According to Mr. Kudo, the victim was holding the paper in his right hand. Yeah, that's it. Uh, how do you flip through the pages and fidget around if you, if you, like, if you're with one hand? And also if you're like, is he fidgeting because he took more than one sip of the coffee? But if he took more than one sip of the coffee, then why is the stain on the coffee cup? And if the, if the stain's on the coffee cup, that means that he took multiple sips, so he didn't die in one sip. There's a lot of questions. While drinking coffee with his free hand, which would make that his left hand, right? Ka, what is this, kindergarten? Yeah, kind of. Bas have you seen my streams? Basically. But I would like the court to please look at this. That's the cup the victim used, correct? Yeah, and on the rim, you'll notice the mark left by the victim's lips. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. There's, like, a lot of weird things about this, but... If he had multiple lip, if, the lip, was he wearing lipstick or did he get coffee on his lip and then drink more? Yes, there was a stain left by this coffee. If you consider where that stain is, you'll clearly see that the victim was holding the cup in the right hand. It's not where I was going with this, but yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yes, that is what I meant basically. But how? Well, Mr. Kudo, the court is waiting for you, your epic performance. <laughs> it's epic. Woo! Right for the wrong reason? Yeah, that's like my MO, isn't it? It doesn't matter though. Like, there's so many things suspicious about it. Every time they say epic, you have to take a drink for that one, right? And that's not including all of the times you threw the seeds at me. Ah, jeez. Okay. It's just, I don't... That's the thing. There's a lot of weird things about one piece of evidence. And then you present that piece of evidence on something that's suspicious, and they say, what about this suspicious piece of evidence that you didn't think of? And you're like, I, I don't know, I guess we can go that route, but that's not really how I was thinking about it. And it's like that every single fucking time, all the time, around the clock, every time, every evidence. Every time. Every single time. Okay, cheers. I'm going to pour the drink right now. I have to go to the bathroom again, guys. I'm so sorry to do this to you, but I think I'm going to go to the bathroom real fast. You can just, uh, you can just wait around. You can, uh, talk in chat. Make a poll. Is this epic or not epic? There, there's the poll. Okay, someone do that. I'll see you all in a moment. Goodbye. Trials and Trivia 
Congratulations! Here we go! Let's play more of the game. Is this epic or not epic? 83% voted epic. That means that it has to be epic. That's how it works, okay? That's simply how it is. What is this? What? The link in a clip in chat? I don't know what the clip is, but I bet it's something epic too. It's all, everything that happens in my stream is epic, okay? This is what you have to realize. Well, Mr. Kudo, the court is waiting for your epic performance. You said you'd eat those seeds and sing the pigeon song. Ah! Do it, bitch. Do it, bitch. Mr. Kudo, I'm afraid this is simply not acceptable. I think the witness had better go back. What? Wait, what? If you think I'm going to stand here and listen to you tell me I'm, I'm mad. I'm not mad. You are mad. Uh, you're wrong. I don't care about that dirty coffee cup. I know what I saw. You still insist on your testimony. That young brat was holding the cup in his left hand. Oh, yes, no question. I'm a good law-abiding citizen. I am. It's that dead young hot bot and you, you spiky-haired yahoo who are at fault. Who, me? Thank you, old man. We've heard quite enough from you already. Don't call me old man, old man. Been around for 68 years, I have. You can't ignore me. Listen to what I have got to say. I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but... Sure, why not hear a little more? Mr. Godot, you fucking idiot. Let's not hear anything more this guy has to say, please. But this is my 16th cup of coffee. So this is your final stand. Oh man, we're almost done with this, aren't we? Uh, thank you, Captain. You can rely on Victor. We'll see about that. Left hand or right hand. Okay, this is where it all comes down to. The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his specs. Well, yeah, it was there. Wait, where was he? Okay, let's see one more time. My guy. That is the left. If I'm not mistaken, that is his left. There, yeah, that is true. He kept fiddling with it all the time. He was fiddling with it just before he picked up the cup, too. And then he used the same hand to pick up the coffee cup, his left hand. Okay. We know that the victim was wearing an unusual monocle over his left eye. It wasn't a monocle, Your Honor. It was a scouter. A scouter? You mean like a Dragon Ball? The inside of the lens is a screen that displays the power level data. It's called a scouter. It's a common tool in the victim's line of work. HD TV, DVD, CD, power level, all these newfangled letters drive me mad, but they don't matter. I know what I saw and I'm telling the truth. Okay, that's yeah, true. He doesn't seem to be lying, so I decided. And those are the facts in good old black and white. Okay. Left hand or right hand, old man? What are we doing right now? What are we what are we trying to present? What are we trying to talk about? What are we trying to press? The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his specs. Wearing the, but there was no earpiece though. What do you what do you mean earpiece? He doesn't have an earpiece. Are we calling the monocle, quote unquote, the spectacles, quote unquote? The the scouter, quote unquote? That's not an earpiece. It's not even touching his ear. An earpiece goes into your ear, or at least touches it in some capacity. That is not what this does. First of all, the victim was a programmer wore an HMD over left eye. Left eardrum was ruptured. Well, if his left eardrum is ruptured, then he couldn't have had a thing in his left ear to hear it like the, the, the wireless, right? That's what I'm talking about. The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side of the green lens of his spec- But he- but he couldn't have! No, we already ha Okay, so present that- Present his profile on that thing, or maybe present the cream over that sentence, because, like, he couldn't have been wearing that because it was ruptured, and he can't hear. It don't make any sense. So the victim was wearing an HMD. HDDV? Now what does it matter? It was none of them, actually, but anyway. Are you sure that he was wearing the earpiece on the same side? No question! I could only see that- Okay, well, it's over. I know- I'm just gonna, like, I'm going for it right now. I could only see that side of his head from where I was sitting. Yeah, that's pretty obvious if you look at the floor plans. 
So he was definitively sitting there then. Okay, well, that, that does change a lot of things. Yeah, that's his left side, the victim. He sees it from the right. From the opposite table, he'd only have the view of the side of the victim's head. Get fiddle- Okay, we're just- Fuck it, dude. Fuck it, dude. We're just going for it. Wore an HMD over left eye. Left eardrum was ruptured. The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his spec. How do you do that if your left eardrum is ruptured? It doesn't make any sense at all. Boom! I object to you! It's so easy for me! I'm not sure what the relevance of this is, but... Slam. Mr. Kudo, there is something very weird about your observations of the victim. What? You say he was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the HMD? No question, you can lock me up if I'm wrong, but it was his left ear without a doubt. I could only see that side of his head from where I was sitting. I don't think so. No, no, no. What? You're no doubt unaware of this fact, Mr. Kudo, but the victim couldn't hear with his left ear. Ooh, his eardrum was ruptured. Ooh, eh? Traces of medication for his condition, condition were found in his ear canal. That's right, it's impossible that the victim was wearing his ear pierce in his left ear because he couldn't even hear in that ear. Oh shit, okay, Captain. It is true. Hi. Hi, Papa Pigeon! Mm, mm, pretty Pigeon! Mm. What? What does that mean? Order! Order! This witness's testimony is completely unreliable. He only saw the waitress from behind. And he claims the victim was wearing an earpiece when he know... When we know, his eardrum was ruptured. Well, Mr. Gano? Ah. Uh, a single drop of milk is all it takes to destroy the pure black magic in the cup. I guess this old man is my drop of milk. Captain, are you calling me a drip? <laughs> he do be dripping. This is the victim's coffee cup in which the potassium cyanide was found. The mark of the rim clearly shows that the victim picked it up with his right hand. I'll never back down. I know I'm right. The lad drank his javachino with his left hand. Let me put you out of your misery. Clearly, the victim used both hands. He took a sip with the cup with his... What? What? He... Both? Why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. What, he swapped? For what reason? I'm holding a newspaper in my right hand. I have a drink in my left hand. I take a sip. I say, mmm, that's pretty nice. I like that. And then for no reason at all, I swap hands? That doesn't make a goddamn lick of sense. He took a sip of the cup held in his right hand and then switched to his left. Slam! That's what the old man saw. No? That's stupid. Why? Impossible! The witness has already testified on numerous occasions that the victim died immediately after taking just one sip of coffee, which is the biggest contradiction of all. Of all. That, that wouldn't even make sense, yeah. Sep cup 17! There it is! Which hand the victim used to pick his cup is irrelevant, Your Honor. No, it's not. That's what we're talking about this entire time. It's super important. What do you mean? The facts still stand with one hand or the other. Mr. Elk drank the poison coffee. Like this! Yo, he's chugging! That's a drink for me. Sadly, Mr. Godot, that don't wash. The point of this testimony was to establish whether the witness's memory is credible. And the results are clear. The testimony given by this witness is useless! Pull! He spit it out all over me! Spit your coffee on me, good- Never- No, never- I believe it is time to conclude today's proceeding- What, re really? Are we done? That was fast. I am satisfied that the witness is not deceiving the court. But to be frank, his testimony is a farce! Did you have to be so frank? Take that, you pompous old fuck! I'm sorry, Mr. Kuro. You can't reach me from there. I'm ordering the defense and the prosecution to investigate this case for- There it is. We did it. We win. That is all for now. Court is adjourned. Is it, though? No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. Wait! If we stop now, where does that leave me? Leave you, Mr. Kudo? 
thanks to that blue-suited young upstart over there, I'm just a bumbling old man who can't even dot his T's or cross his I's now. How is this of your, how is your bad memory my fault? I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but there's nothing I can do. I've kept my mouth shut until now, but there's something else the court should, oh boy, here it comes. Oh, you think you're out of the woods, but actually you go through a tree and then boom, like a thousand more trees. What? There's more? To be perfectly honest, it might not be anything, but I want another chance. I want to take another crack at you, you young shark. Me? He's looking at me like I'm some sort of evil shogun. Which is Japanese, by the way. Well, everyone, what do you say to one final showdown? The final chapter in this eccentric old man scrapbook. Sorry, Gramps. I've already had my 17th cup of coffee. What have you got to lose, Captain? I'll give you all the Javachino you want if you come to my house after the trial. I may be 68 years old, but Victor Kudo is still a man. That's enough, witness. I believe it will be quicker for the court to just hear your testimony. Sure, fuck it. Just go for it. Who cares? I can't believe this is happening. Ha ha ha! You better get ready, youngster. I get the picture. Just quit throwing those damn seeds at me. He's got to be using some sort of infinite ammo code with that box of seeds. It's like a reference to a video game. Is that a reference? Is Phoenix Wright referencing at me right now? I respect that. I really appreciate it because I'm a gamer too. Phoenix Riot is a gamer. I'm a gamer. Infinite ammo. Damn. That's hot. Yeah, I have like a lot of drinks I need to do, huh? He chugged his coffee. Dude threw his seed at me like 15 times, like 28 times, like a million times. <sighs> I can't believe we're still going. I honestly can't believe... I dropped my controller. I just, I just, I just, it fell out of my lap. I put it in my lap. It slipped out of my lap. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have to take the drink right now. Okay, let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead and do it. It's gonna be great. What's the tab at? Uh, zero right now. Cause here we go. Cheers. That was one. How many times did he throw seeds at me? Like seven, eight times, something like that. Nine, ten times, something like that. Like, like, like ten to eleven times, maybe something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but I will try to drink all I can. Here I go. Five. It's five times. Okay. Well, that's, oh, that's, shit. Well, that's not good. That's what that is. Four more drinks. Okay. Yeah, we're, yeah, we'll, we'll just do it. It's okay. Ouija, are you drinking water? Baby, a true Cade McCown is room temperature sky vodka chased with room temperature water. Yes, I am always drinking water. Every time. Every time I drink anything, I'm drinking like four or five times that amount of water. Every single time. That's why I'm filling up the Baby Yoda cup with water right now, so I can keep on drinking and keep on sipping on the baby water, baby baby Yoda water. It's great. It's 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 a it's a foolproof plan. I'm drinking Dr Pepper. That sounds delicious. I love Dr Pepper. That's a great drink. One of the all-time greatest drinks. Hydration Nation. That's me. Uh, never ever try to match me in drinks, chat. It's just not going to end well for anyone. Except, especially not me. I was gonna say accept me, but no. It's just, I'm the one who suffers the most because I'm the one who has to do it every time. It's a joke, Twitch. It's a joke. It's all fine. I'm fine. If you want me to take a sobriety test, if you want me to walk that straight line, I'll do it, Twitch. Just calm down. Don't ban me. Don't hurt yourself. I've been doing this since Persona 4. You don't gotta worry about nothing. It's, it's totally fine. I'm a, I am a machine, and this is the fuel. You wouldn't get mad at a machine for consuming the fuel. You wouldn't get mad at a Ouija the God for consuming the fuel. It's as simple as that. Cheers. It's like this one and then two more. Okay, cheers. Here we go. Back in Persona 4 when we cheated on Risei? That never happened! Except for that one time I kissed the Velvet Room attendee? It literally never happened. It's not true. 
Yeah, I kissed that girl that one time, but that was for the true ending. And I never cheated on Rise ever. Earn that happened. No, it didn't. That was totally, look, she kissed me. And Rise understands that she kissed me. It is not cheater day. Let's not get this started again. No, 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 no. That is well behind us, everyone. That is well behind us. It is not cheater day. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Let's all calm down. No one even has it. That's the beauty. No one even has cheater day copy pasta any longer. Thank you for the 200 bits, Sergeant Guy. As long as you don't pass out like Mango did that one time. I don't remember that. It's I, I, I'm not very familiar with Mango streams, but no. I feel like I would get banned if I did that, right? Isn't getting, isn't passing out on stream a bannable offense? I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. That's like, uh, that's like, uh, that's like, uh, that's like bad. I'm just not going to. <laughs> I'm not aware of the ancient tomes. Nobody is. Cheater Day, also known as Cade Sims for Inferior Girl Day, or I can't believe you have such awful taste. What the fu- How do you people have this on standby? Taste in Women Day is a Japanese national holiday usually celebrated when a certain someone judges- Someone's judgment fails them. The purpose of the holiday is to remind Kate that he is already in a relationship with best girl and for him to consider the importance of not simping for a terrible girl. She's not, it uh, doesn't matter, just because she reminds him of a girl he knew in high school. It's, that is totally irrelevant and totally bullshit. It was all bullshit from the word go. None of that matters. We have you surrounded, Kate. You, do, you have nothing. I over Rise? Well, I don't even agree with that. That's the thing. I never cheated on Rise. I it never happened. Aside from that one time I kissed that weird girl. That was like totally different though. It doesn't count. And I'm got like sh just shut up, guys. I have to take a couple of drinks, okay? Just shut it. Just zip your lips and throw away the key, okay? Hip hip lip. This is a hip lip moment, chat. Hip lip. Okay. Was nobody screamed that in like elementary school hip lip? Whenever we line up in a line and we're like too rowdy, the teacher says hip lip and you put one hand on your hip, one hand over your lips. And that's hip lip. Is that a weird thing? Was that a was <laughs> was that a Stillwell Elementary classic? I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Not me. I went to Stillwell Kansas Elementary. How am I supposed to know? Okay, I'm not stunlocked, asshole. First of all, the young boy slumped over the table as soon as he took one sip of his javachino. So there it is. <laughs> it is kind of just still well things. You ever go to school and there's corn that they're selling right outside your school? So all of the moms come to pick up their kids, but they got a bunch of corn on the way because there's a bunch of corn fields. Hashtag just still well elementary things right there. I tell you what And even today, you know what the best part of living in Stillwell is currently which is what I'm doing because I'm still trying to get my fucking nose fixed and I have an update on that by the way I'm, I'm still trying to fuck with my insurance company. That's my update It's the same update I've had but I got a call today like reaffirming I have to go back in for more testing to prove to United Healthcare insurance that like yeah no, it's still fucked up. I've been here for like 12 weeks and yeah, my nose still doesn't work. Can you please, please pay like $4,000 for the procedure that my doctor recommends so I do not have to pay $4,000 out of my own pocket? That's like, that's what I want. That's all I ever wanted. I just don't, I just want to have a better quality of life. Uh, but United disagrees. So I'm trying to figure that out. And that's why I'm still in Stillwell, Kansas, because if I reset the process at this point and move back to Norman, Oklahoma and trying to find a new ENT and then go through all this stuff again with a new ENT, like a new surgeon, got to go to a new surgeon. It's just like there's so much more work. It's just it's just it sucks. It sucks ass. Fuck you, United. Suck my fat fucking nuts. It's yeah, it's just, I, I have it sucks. This is all irrelevant to so I'm sure that I've lost like a million viewers since I've gone on this weird tangent, but it doesn't matter. I don't really care. Cheers to the last drink that I have to do, okay? And that's going to be the end. Ugh, 
an insurance company should not be practicing medicine under the guise of insurance. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. <sighs> Where were we? So, this is Kudo saying the young boy slumped over the table as soon as he took one sip of his Dunkachino. Well, that clumsy idiot upset the vase. Did he, though? The vase was still, like, upright and looking good when I entered, wasn't it? Uh, he knocked it right. No, he didn't. No, he did not. It broke, and the strip of cloth covering the table got completely soaked. No, that was the coffee stain. Well, how about that? Turn things upside down, hmm? That doesn't make any sense, old-timer. Hmm. Um, is that all? Yes, that's all. I remember it perfectly. Eh? You're doubting me again? You're doubting a poor defenseless old man? No, you're not doubting you, Mr. Kudo. Don't you get the feeling there's a question hanging on everyone's lips, Nick? Yeah. So what, probably. That's all I can think of, and I have to cross-examine this old coot. You're a bird, bra bird brain. That's like the things that he feeds. That's funny. That's why all you can think. That's all you can. Th okay. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your final. Just, just do it. Okay. The final showdown. It's the ultimate showdown. Some might say of ultimate destiny. Reference and reference and reference. As far as the eye can see, anyone, please. First of all. I'm the realist. I want to stress that this might be nothing. I'm not too sure myself. Okay. Um, the court generally prefers if witnesses are sure of themselves, Mr. Kudo. Noisy brat, I'm warning you, I'm more savage than a macho man right now. You won't beat me with this testimony, this final bet. Ow, ow! He's chucking those seeds harder than ever. I better be careful. Come on, Nick, nail him. Okay, phrasing. The young, I, I missed it. Wait, what? Uh, the young boy slumped over the table as soon as I as he took one sip of his javachino. Okay. The court has already heard that testimony, Mr. Kudo. I know that. I was just setting the mood. How else am I supposed to build up suspense, her? Huh? The suspense? Yes, now what do you think? Should I work the audience a little bit more? No, no, please continue as quickly as possible. Okay, this is irrelevant. Haha, <laughs> funny. Well, the clumsy idiot upset the face. He knocked it right over. But that's not true, though. We were there and we saw that that's not the case. Right? Don't I have a thing that proves this, too? Don't I have the, the, crime, the crime photo right there? Hello? Hello! You know what? I feel like actually being a real-life Joker type right now and not even pressing any further because I know he's telling it. This is the contradiction. This is not correct. He knocked over the vase? No, he didn't. It's right there. Like, what more do you want? Do, do you really want me to investigate all of this? What do you want me to do? Ignore the obvious answer? No, I'm not going to do that. Sorry, why would I ever ignore the obvious answer? Well, the clumsy idiot upset the vase. He knocked it right over. No, he didn't. Objection. No, he didn't. Mr. Kudo, you stupid son of a gun. This is a photograph of the crime scene. What? So what? Look carefully at the table, would you? The vase is there. Intact! What? Lost your tongue, granddad? Yeah, he did. I'm no grand out of yours, you hopscotch! Ow, ow, why'd you call me hopscotch? Enough! If you throw away any more seeds in this courtroom, the clean is- Ah! What? What is it now? I just remembered something- Oh my god, I'm sure you did. Yeah, go on. The broken vase! Ha ha ha, it was on my table. I hate this guy so bad. I, I hate him so much. I'm trying to think right now if there is an Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney trilogy, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations character that I hate more than Mr. Kudo over here. And I don't know if there is. Trilo? Well, he's not a part of this game. Well, I mean, I hate him the most of all. But that doesn't count, does it? What? 
Oh, well, well, you see, you, you, I, it startled me when that young man collapsed. So I stood up. Yeah. And that must have been when it fell over the vase on my table, I mean. Ha ha ha. Sorry. Did, was I totally wrong again for like the fucking fifth time during this investigation? Well, that's all, folks. The vase on your table. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it was on my table, actually. I hate this guy. I fucking hate this guy so much. Oh my god. And that's how my groin came to be completely. He got. He had wet lap? He had wet lap. He got wet lap. He had wet lap. He had wet lap, chat. Oh my god, that's a drink. How is it not a drink? Of course he has. It has to be a drink. It has to be. What a disservice I would be doing to everyone if that was not a drink. Of course it is. They reference me, twitch.tv slash Ouija the God. In Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations? That's absolutely remarkable. I did not expect to be seeing that. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Hold on. Let me uh, take the drink right now, which is a thing that I am doing. Hang on. That's crazy. It is kind of crazy, isn't it? Cheers, every pony. Wait, did that happen to Cade once? Uh, yeah, it did. It happened once before, but it's not something that we should look into. Thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for. <laughs> Mr. Kudo, you've certainly earned your kudos for today. I'd like to ask a question now. Have I, uh, have I been in of any. No, you asshole. You are useless. Perhaps that's something you should reflect on yourself, Mr. Kudo. Ah! Wait, 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 no! If that's the case, there's more! I've got more! Oh, yes, I remember. Bailiff! Escort the witness out of this courtroom! What? Listen to me! Goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Well, we seem to have been considerably sidetracked. Yeah, isn't that always the case? And I am still not in a position to deliver a verdict, huh? The defendant has not been positively identified as the waitress in question. Additionally, there are two disparities in the testimony we have heard thus far. The mark on the coffee cup that the victim supposedly drank from with his left hand, and the earpiece which was inserted into his left ear out of which he could not hear. Wow, Nick, you're so smart. I want to kiss you. I therefore require both the defense and the prosecution to further investigate the facts. Okay. Fuck. There is one more thing before I call today's session to an end. One more thing, Your Honor. The witness we just heard from. He is most insistent that his testimony should be of use. Oh, is that the haiku? I remember the high. Where is the haiku at? I remember the haiku. Wait. Oh no! I got rid of the haiku. I gave it to him. So he surmised it according into this statement. Um. Erm. Okay. You may each have a copy of it as you wish. I don't care. The prosecution doesn't need props like that. The doe's really pissed off, huh? What a crybaby baby. Yeah, he is kind of a crybaby baby. I would be too, though, in his position of being so stupid. Very well. Here you are then, Mr. Wright. There are three copies. My own, yours, and Mr. Godot's. Yes, Your Honor. Three copies. I'm literally writing that down right now. Three copies. Underline, underline, underline. Okay, three co Three of them. Three, okay? The judges, Mr. Godot's, and mine. That is, why did why did they? It's, it's it's important. Trust me. When the incident occurred, I broke the vase at my seat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This isn't a piece of testimony. More like a five-year-old's apology. What the fuck are we supposed to do with the three copies? 
probably important. That is all quarters of journey. That's not even a haiku, is it? No, it's not. To be continued. We did it, gamers. We won again. We always win. We did it again. We have like full health right now. I'm feeling fantastic. We have all of our health. We won the trial. Yeah, baby. We just got to do this and one more trial. I have been spoiled as to that, by the way. It's, it's, it's like one more trial. I know that, by the way. But is that the end of the stream? Is that where we're going to call it? I'm not too sure. I could call it here. I could just stop streaming entirely and go play the rest of the trial tomorrow. Hmm. Let's go raid Ross. How about that, okay? Let's just all let's all let's all go say hi to Ross. What's the raid message when we go say hi to Ross? What's the most funniest part of this entire trial, guys? Give me recommendations, and then we can, uh, we can, uh, we can raid him. We can raid Ross. It'll be good. It's fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's, we're, we're gonna do it tomorrow. Cheater Day also, no, no, it's fine. Cade loves Godot. It's not true. Don't post that. Obviously. Wet lap. Wet lap. Eh, I don't know about that. Kado, no, we're not gonna post Kado. No, guys, that's not what we're going to do. No, we're not posting hashtag Kate loves Godot. Okay, no, no, we're definitely we're definitely not posting all the like the long spam. Okay, if it's gonna be a spam, it's gonna be like a couple sentences at most. Okay, it does not count. Fuck it, I don't care. How about you just rate him saying hi, Ross? I hope you're having a good stream. Okay. Quote me on that one right now. Hi, Ross. I hope you're having a good stream. Let's all just go say that right now. Slash raid rubber ninja. Bye-bye, everybody. Goodbye. I expect you not to uh, make me look like a fool in front of my friend. I expect you all to treat him with the utmost kindness. I'm going to save the game one more time just to make sure we've all we're all I I, I I did save the game. There it is, right? It's right there. It's before all of our eyes. It's it's totally done. Okay. Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, get out of here. You've all been great. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all on Lawyer Tuesday, maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.